Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we're looking at Windows 11 and how it fares against some truly ancient malware. Now before I get started in this video, this test is being performed with Windows Defender disabled because obviously Windows Defender would pick these threats up if we left it on and did not have any exclusions going. We're also not going to be testing trying to get rid of these threats, we're just going to see what they do to Windows as they stand. So here's my little exclusions folder. We have a few things. You'll be able to know what some of them are straight away. We have this DLL file, which I'll leave as a mystery for you guys until we actually get to it. We have the Gruul email worm. We have the Maldal email worm. And we have three of my favorite joke programs. One of them is Blast Button. One of them is Melting Screen or Screen Melter. And one of them is a fake Y2K checker. We have Crotten, which is featured on a few videos now. And we have this fake Windows Defender like rogue thing. So we will go with that first. So this is fake Windows Defender. I don't really know what this is supposed to do because look, it just says, well, I don't know why it was crackly like that, but it says you have the latest malware definition database. And about just says Windows Defender. Are you kidding me? Windows Defender by Microsoft Corporation. This actually is not as ancient as I thought. It says 2018, but I don't really know if I believe that. So I don't really know what this malware is actually doing, but nothing else works. We can scan started. Please wait. Virus is found. Unable to remove. Okay. Is that it? What? Your system is too heavily infected to start Windows Defender. Please download Malwarebytes from Malwarebytes.com. What is this? Who made this? What is this? It's Windows Defender, apparently. Can't We can't close it. Ah, okay, I see. So we can't close it, but we can probably just close it from here. Yeah, oh, and it's called Microsoft Security Essentials for some reason, but it's called Windows Defender. That's fine. We can kill the task. So let's try some of our joke stuff. So let's try blast button. So we open that and it's not really, hey, oh, it's blowing it up. It's not really doing anything. Your settings, everything just still works fine. Oh, okay. So it is actually blowing up the right click menu. That's kind of cool. That's cool. Still got some game. I respect it. And everything that I think when you hover, it's also blowing some of that up. Yeah, it is too. Yeah, so it doesn't... Oh, again, close button. That's my bad. Oh, the, here we go. Look, we found the old stuff. There we go. This is what it's supposed to do. Here, and we go to disk properties. That should be pretty old. Yeah, look at that. There we go. And it is just blowing everything up. It's actually better than it was back in the day. Okay, so yeah. Ah, my quota settings. Can I share this drive? No. Maybe we can share it. No. <laughs> it's over. All right. That's cool. I, I'm actually really glad that still works. But I can't get to task manager that way. Because it doesn't work for this app, you can just close it. Now it works fine. All of this works fine. And we are back to normal. So we're going to try this, this Y2K system checker really know what it's doing oh and look it's changing all of the mouse because you know why not calendar date compliance changing all y's to k's yes sundak yes because get it it's y2k get it oh wow it's really gonna do the whole lot chip has a vertical alignment problem and the resolution is for desktop computers turn them on their vertical sides this will allow the sound card to work properly if you have a tower computer turn it on its side so the card will now face up and down you must do this before december 31st 1999 at midnight your computer must stay this way for the entire rest of the year 2000 please see your hardware manufacturer's small grammatical mistake manual for more details so we'll go through our last joke program and we'll get onto the serious stuff in a minute. We will run the screen melter, but 
it's kind of it is working but it's just put a bunch of dots all over the screen it hasn't really run the payload oh it's not looking great yeah, me too. Let's disconnect that sound card. Okay, so here we go. We got one that hit. If we try and send a control or delete, it just kind of does nothing and then moves the mouse around. So I guess, you know, the joke program thing is fine, but if you ran this on somebody's computer somehow without Defender running, this would actually be very annoying. All right, so we're back and we're gonna run Crotten, why not? And we get our very familiar this. So we go OK. And Task Manager is still working. Windows 11 is nice enough to ask us if we would like to run it again using compatibility settings. We will not be doing that. Do we have Windows 91 folders on our computer? Yes, we do have all of these random folders that it makes. Very good, very good. Although, unlike previous versions of Windows, it doesn't obscure the original Windows folder at all. Let's uh, give this thing a restart and see if that changes things at all. Alright, well it did not come up with anything on login, and I think we are still good. Task Manager is still running okay, so we can still get to our C drive, because that is a signature feature of Crotten that it disables that, and we can see our files, we can close our Explorer windows, we can open up Task Manager, can we open up Command Prompt, yes we can, can we open up Reg Edit, yes, so essentially Rotten has only changed the home page and made a bunch of these stupid folders, so we can actually just ignore it. I'm just gonna go straight on to the next one. And this is Maldal, and we're actually gonna copy this or move it to the desktop. And it found the threat straight away. See, this is why we don't have Windows Defender on in these videos. Very annoying. All right, well, no, that's not working because we're missing a DLL file. That's fine. Let's just blast on through and run Gruel. Okay, and we have our fake Windows XP thing. Uh, if you guys remember these, the error sending whatever you call these. So we'll go Windows X found serious error and we'll go send and close. And you see it opens all the stuff and wow, it still works. How good is that? So, this is Killer Guate, and if you haven't seen this before, I will read this in full. It says, your computer now is mine. Why? Because I didn't had nothing to do and I thought, why not make the evil? Remember, now your PC is in my power. Windows sucks. I can't stand it anymore. Windows has always sucked. Wake up, people. It's a scam. You don't need a faster computer. You need a better operating system. Microsoft continuingly makes money by selling you the latest and greatest Windows. The latest Windows version is always the most inefficient yet, slowing down your fast computer. Also, now you have to upgrade all your other software too, because different Windows versions are not compatible with each other. A hidden cost not mentioned at all, it is part of the scam. Capitalism sucks, communism sucks, killer guat, hey. Yeah, I mean, never a truer word spoken about the state of Windows, brother. So, can we do anything? No. Can we sit? Can we even, can we even do anything? Or can... Oh, right, because everything is hooked into the worm. So if you forget how this works, like I just did, this has hosed this computer because notice what happens when I open Task Manager. So if we press uh, right alt delete, this is a VM, and we go Task Manager. No, that's not Task Manager, that's Gruel. So every executable that it can is hooked in to run Gruel. Can we open Explorer? No, no, we can't. Can we open Command Prompt? No. <laughs> oh dear, well, let's see. No, it's just gonna, no, it doesn't even run the actual executable. It just uh, runs the worm. The shutdown command runs the worm, brother. Okay, so it did shut down, that's good. 
but can it start up again is the real question maybe 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 oh so it's just straight away it's trying to run the worm and whatever this is the system app is not enjoying itself i believe it is running gruel still every time just in the background so can we open edge yeah sure open gruel can we open copilot thank god no we can't open copilot open the store yes because it's a uwp app of course we have explorer so that's cool we can maybe run regedit no it's actually gruel you clicked on you idiot notepad no that's gruel too h oh small gruel windows update dot text no because it tried to open it in gruel help no more help no help pain no so you're sort of getting the idea of what happens with gruel and it still works fine so let's uh, restore the state and we'll look at our is this our last one it is our last one and the command to run dlls is you go reg uh, if i remember correctly reg server 32 and then we give it the path which is why i renamed it yeah no i don't think it worked okay so i guess windows 11 just survived that but all it is is some like weird serbian ransomware or something that doesn't really do anything it's just one of those ones that locks you screw oh never mind never mind i believe this is just one big picture and my bad actually it's check it's check ransomware you can see that it says cz so basically this thing would come up on your computer when you were going on a torrent site or something like that and all of this stuff just says you are distributing the bad type of adult content you're basically you're distributing illegal adult content and piracy and the stuff with animals in it and if you don't pay this money just 2000 of whatever this is um you have to go to jail and if i had the webcam connected it would come up and show me my face and it would show me my ip address and down here we can see that we have europol and interpol and we also have the copyright alliance check viewers if they are going to help us out i don't want a whole translation of this i just want to know if i'm right what i was saying earlier about what the sort of premise of this is and obviously this is saying you need to pay 2000 check whatever's in paysafe card or ucash let me know in the comments if you have any experience with this sort of malware, this old stuff, and if you actually knew any of these ones from places like Dano Alt 1 or just your own sort of exploration online back in the day. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you all in the next one.